So in this video, I'm gonna get into my only swing thought I have on the golf course, which is my most common swing thought I have from day to day. Because as you would have seen a video from earlier on in the week, there's a swing thought I have for when I struggle on the golf course. This is a one just to keep things rolling nicely. So what this is, this is very much the opposite of what a lot of players try to do. I try to think of, as I'm coming into that golf ball, my chest, where my zipper is on my gilet here, is getting more on top of my left leg as I'm turning through. So what that does for me, that controls the most important thing, and that is your low point. You cannot play good golf if your low point, so this is with irons this, is behind or level with the golf ball. You cannot play good golf if that's the case. You need your low point to be after the ball because that's what controls ball than turf contact. It's absolutely crucial for that. If your chest is getting in front, your low point will also be there. Your low point is roughly right around where your left peck is. Really almost on the left side of your left peck. That's your lowest point of your swing arc will be around here. So you've got to get that in front of the golf ball to be able to do that. So that's why I don't agree with players who try to physically keep themselves behind the golf ball. Where's your low point going to be then? You're going to have to do something with your arms to be able to manipulate and move the low point forward. So that's where not a technique I would do if I want to play consistently. Could I make it work? Sure, for enough practice. You can do anything in the golf swing without enough practice, with, you know, practice and make it work. You really can, any technique. But you want one that's going to be consistent. We're not all full-time players who can practice all day, every day. We've got to stop having techniques that more facilitate that. You've got to have ones that don't require much practice. So that's why I have this feeling with iron. Getting my chest really on top of my left leg. Very much a feel though. I'm not trying to be here, as you can see from that slow-mo. I'm not massively in front of the golf ball. That'd really get the low point very, very far forward. I'm side bending through the golf ball, which is keeping my head on center. That feeling of the chest being on top of the left leg. It's getting myself moving forward nicely. So again, Getting my zipper on my gilet on top of my left leg. Ball and turf instantly. But you've got to be thinking about driver. Let's tell you. So, driver, okay. What do we do with this? Do we do the same thing? No, we don't. We don't want the chest being on top of the left leg with driver because we're going to hit down on it. We don't want the low point being ahead of the golf ball unless we've got a ridiculous amount of club head speed, which very few of you will have. So, what we need to do with driver, again, I don't necessarily want to be moving it too much back. Side bend and tilting back just a little bit isn't the worst thing with driver. But again, for me personally with my golf swing, I will sometimes have too much side bend coming down, which will then stop my control of my body, make me flip the club face. So for me, I will be feeling like my zipper is on my belt buckle for the entirety of the downswing. Keeps me very upright for me reduces my excessive side bend, which that will keep me to where my low point, remember, where's your low point? Left chest. It will keep that low point behind. So my ball position has to be forward. And then I'll be hidden up on it nicely after that. So for me with driver, chest is on top of that belt buckle straight away, even a downswing. So even backswing, you want chest on top of belt buckle. Boom. Just makes things easy. It's one thought that you just change slightly for driver and irons. We want less swing thoughts on the golf course, not more of them. Your golf swing will not fall apart without it, but it's just something that will help you and push you along the way. Is there more things I'm working on my golf swing than that? Absolutely. Would I dream of doing that on the golf course? No. We wanna keep things to their basics on the golf course. We don't wanna be thinking of, where am I coming down the down swing? How's my P5 position here? Oh, the club haste is not where I want it to be at P6. Oh, I'm gonna be terrible if I don't think about that. Come on, you don't have to think that. Just think of the key things that get the ball around. Low point is a very, very crucial one. That comes first. Make things simple, guys. When you see me on my playing videos, I'm thinking of very little on the golf course. And that's not because of natural talent or anything, certainly not. It's because I've drilled the movements into my golf swing and I've got it into there so I don't have to think of anything on the golf course. Can I be better? Of course, while we're still practicing. So. This little thing with a zipper, that's what I personally think of on the golf course. If you suffer with the same things with me, like side bending too much, certainly give it a go. If you struggle with low point control, give it a go. So that's where I always encourage you to give things a go. You'll never know what might really help your golf swing. So if you enjoyed this video, click that like button if you want more golf instruction just like this. Hit the subscribe button and hit the bell button too to be notified every time I put out a video. So this is the swing thought that helps me. Well, just playing normal golf could help you too.